Hello everyone, this is uh, Saleh and I will be uh, discussing today about PWA. PWA is introduced a couple of years now and it was manifest by uh, W3C as a solution for uh, enabling web and mobiles. In the recent years, there were some frameworks addressing the issue that uh, the same issue that was before for software, that in order to have an application, you have to install it on, on the device, whether it is an iOS or Android. And there is no flexibility of the changes. If you have some changes in the software, then you have to update it regularly and every time. So all the customers now, they have devices and these devices, they always update their software. Unlike web, uh, it is centralized and the update happens only once on the server. So how uh, the same thing that happened in computers, that it shifted from software to web, how this can be possible on the mobile. So the, the answer for that was PWA. And, typically, and PWA is just one solution of other solutions that are there. But what makes PWA outstanding, that it is a technology that enables others to build over it. And it is also the product of W3C itself. So what is PWA? Since the beginning, there was a struggle between uh, web and native applications. It's not only now in mobiles. It was there from the beginning, from the days of, this, of the regular traditional software. Even though in the black uh, texture screens, those and uh, bash scripts it was a need that it, uh, every time it re when uh, software development reach a peak, change has to come to uh, address new customer needs. So from the, from the terminal comes software. And then from software comes the browser. And then from browser, now we have PWA. So PWA is, has, it, it is the same issue, the same need to progress the development and customer needs and expectation. So if we see this picture, we can see clearly that from the beginning, it was when, when the computer started, it was only for those who are very skilled and even for customers who knows how to code, they can access the computer. After some, after some years, software was introduced and the mouse came with it, which made the scale of user and, and development scale, uh, reach to a new higher peak and access to computer became much easier. After that, we saw how web was introduced through the modernization of networking and then the, the browser as a software came as a solution to eliminate the redundancy of installing softwares every time. You, can, you cannot imagine that uh, on, on, back in those days for an organization that has 200, 300 uh, workstations for each, for each update they had to reinstall the application again. So that was a very critical case and now it is not there anymore thanks to it. Mobiles have, has been introduced and it, 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 it enhanced it the way that software works 
enabling softwares to be connected to stores. So this way they solve the issue of uh, manually installing the application, which made the phone itself request the update and then install the new software. Even though it is a solution, but it is not practical. Especially when uh, companies and uh, customers, they demand new features, it has to go to the process of update. Many solutions have been uh, produced, like React, like Flutter, but still these solutions did, didn't uh, reach the same quality of a native software. software. Browsers, they were there as a software and mobiles, but still it, it enables the access to uh, sites that is, is accessible to uh, traditional computers, but it didn't, uh, it didn't become so flexible just like an application because the web, web applications that were designed for uh, mouse, uh, mouse use, it's not for, for finger use, uh, and uh, it's not screen-based, screen okay, just like mobiles. So from there, the, the demand was to make something in the middle that enrich an application become as a browser but in a different way. It was addressed by React and by other softwares to use web views, but it was it doesn't it didn't feel right. Okay. Then and there the introduction of PWA came to existence. And now unlike browsers which which acts like a software that can be manipulated to change to uh, the the look and feel of a software developed by standard language like html css and javascript pwa will act only as a service of data to store and deliver the data between the application and the server, which will empower the web application to act if it is not exactly the same, but to an extent which covers most of the applications to be as native as possible. So progressive web apps, the definition is progressive, which means it is dynamic, it is uh, active, it is uh, flexible, it doesn't depend on, on if you have the internet or not. So this progressive, progressiveness, it is the same feel that when you have the native software itself. Web is the base for connectivity and data the source of data for the progressive apps and the app the app that we know so when we when we talk about pwa the only main difference between other introduced frameworks and like react and flutter which they will also use pwa in the future it's all about the introduction of service worker. The service worker is a future which is implemented, defined by W3C and then implemented in browsers, which enables the store, the store and caching of data in a way that makes the application available offline and acts more native as possible.
when we discuss this and why it is important for a developer to know PWA and why it is important for me is to see that from the start of programming developers always changes the tool it depends on the customer needs the government the, let's say the company need and the market demand so being a developer is you have to know when exactly you have to change because no matter what you try to stick with what you have sometime you will have to change what you have keeping the skills keeping the knowledge of the business but changing only the tool so change is prominent for developers from time to time when you see the, the difference between the first picture and the second one they are both developers but it's not what they do is how they do it okay the tools are different so from that year to this year developers are the same yes but tools tools when, when tools changes the game changes and Nokia is one example to be introduced in this matter yes it is not the job of the, of the developer to organize and deliver a technology because this is a company an organization uh, job to do that companies like Google introduced Flutter Facebook introduced react and it is not the capacity of a developer to do that but it is also important to understand that you cannot cover all the frameworks you have to choose one max max two to be professional in it yes it is all the same when we see in company cars for example it's all the same they have all the engines they have all the basic concepts but technically they are different and you need to stick with one solution up to now for PWA there is no um, uh, solid from the ground build for solution for PWA but current frameworks, frameworks like Flutter and React they are intended to support it but it is not entirely built with the focus of PWA so yes it will work but it is not the uh, perfect solution so if you even try to do it for, on your own you can do it in small projects but in big projects you need the support of communities and big brands when choosing a brand you need to keep in mind that technology is not new new companies and new uh, communities they didn't, they didn't come just out of the sky they have roots and from the fruit you know the tree so basically in, in computers there are three types of products company products there are the companies that that, that uh, depends on the community just like Linux and if you are a guy who wants to enjoy being a programmer then it's good for you to go with Linux and good for you to go with open source uh, frameworks and solutions but it is a commitment to calibrate and help and provide the services for them but it is always not stable because the change is frequent for those who want just the business side and they don't they just want to make the profit there is nothing there is no one doing doing it better than Apple so sticking around with Apple and seeing that if they produce something that supports or a framework or a solution 
base of their Xcode that supports the PWA or built for PWA, then it is a safe cash, fast cash solution for those who want to cash out, cash in, cash out fast. Apple is known for strongly recommending and providing the software not because it is the best but because it is the cause to sell their hardware so you will always find the best the, the acceptable and good quality code yes but it is always not the best as for microsoft it is always companies like microsoft intend to simplify and make things easier and make things accessible for illiterate clients. So Microsoft is always a good go to solution for those who don't want a stable, uh, responsibility free work and business for the solution and products they provide. All of them, they take the technology and reuse it in their own way. But for you to decide which one, is, this is up to you. They are all right. Nothing is wrong here. But you have to decide which way to go. Thank you for attending and have a nice day. For those who are seeking for some examples for PWA, I will also include some links in the comment section. Thanks again. Have a nice day. Bye.